but it was a time to cheer people up. Sometimes, not all Christmas songs are happy songs. Most people don't understand that. A lot of Christmas songs are not happy songs. They're dealing with the death of Christ. They're not dealing with the birth of Christ. They're not dealing with happy times. Jingle Bells is a happy song. I mean, I can get away with... That's, that's, you know, sleigh ride. That's a happy song. Or jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock, around the clock, a jingle bell rock, you know. Or uh, that's, a hap that's a happy song. White Christmas. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. That's, not, that's really a nostalgic song, or um, a song wrote by a gentleman, uh, you know, has to do with, you know, he's he dreaming, he basically dreaming of, uh, you know, being at home at Christmas. He's in the middle of a battlefield, and he's dreaming about being home at Christmas. That's nostalgic. But there is, most of the songs are not happy. You know, uh, yeah, I can't even say, I can't even do jingle, I can't do... Um, any whatsoever on Rip Frosty the Snowman or Rudolph because they'll sue the hell out of you. Mm -hmm. That's Warner Brothers Chapel Records. They, they've removed six things from us on the grounds that, well, you might have infringed upon our work. No, we didn't because I, re I rewrote the thing, so they infringed on nothing. Also, it was on a cooking show. It was on a cooking show. So, but um, it just, it just, I'm old enough to remember how things used to be done. I, 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 I did I really did sing on Mitch Miller, which nobody can remember. I did sing on Andy Williams, and I did sing on surface sand movies and stuff, background stuff. But I remember how I remember the Christmas specials, how they used to be done, which was times of people being happy. You know, they they they'd be decorating trees, and they'd be they would be you know you know da 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 you know. You know, or you you know you hear you see I mean I did a thing once with Dwayne Eddy, you know. Da 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 da. Da 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 Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. You know, they, they swing. You I'm know. not singing. I know, she doesn't sing. She can, but she... can she, sing, but you don't want to hear me well, sing. Well, she actually can sing. She just doesn't sing on camera well. <laughs> and she doesn't sing when she doesn't sing well when she's washing Monty. That's, you know, you wonder what the noise is. But I do, when she's not concentrating on what she's doing, she can sing. So we may do an auto cloud water anyway, so, so she what? can't, you know, auto tuning so I can sit there and, and so you can basically sing on camera because I mean, the, 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 at the moment it looks like the only two people are singing is her and me. So No, you're know, singing. I'm too old. You need to sing. Nobody wants to see an old guy out No, there. but you, you have the voice to carry it off. Because then the other people will all fall in line with you. Yeah, I could go, they can try Pagliotti. Um, uh, She could shake her hip and put the tambourine, and, and he, he said, "Well, why, it, you know, why do you have somebody that can't carry a tune singing with your, you know, with your being with your group?" And he said, "Because I can keep her away from all the guys like me, because I'm always watching her." So <laughs> that was why she sat out there and would shake that tambourine on her hip. <laughs> she ended up marrying a guy just like him, though, which was funny, you know. And he, you know, I think he hated the guy for the rest of their lives. He enjoyed the grandchildren, he just didn't like the fact that she married somebody like him. 
Well, that's all she was exposed to, right? That's all she knew was guys like her father. So, but, um, Right, he was protecting her so much. But we're going to probably give you a weekly update of what we're doing. Right now, we've got the, I've got the song together. I've got to get the lyrics, original lyrics, because most people don't understand that Ave Maria is not the original lyrics. It's called, that was written by Sir Walter Scott, and it's called Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to hear Ave Maria, you're going to hear Hail Mary. See, see why so, he should be singing. Uh, but I, okay, I'm a old person, but I've been it doing this. Make any difference. I've, I've been doing this since I was like that. I've been in musicals for. 60, 70 years, but um, I sing better after. Okay, I don't, I don't have to drink for courage. I drink because my, I would, uh, it works it to fix throat. my throat. So I need to get beer down my throat, and that makes my throat feel better. But we will be doing this, and we are probably going to start. As of today, we're probably going to start going active on uh, Twitter and Facebook about what's being done. So, uh, so that everybody, we want to get as much involvement with everybody in the whole bloody world as we can. I'd like to have a lot of enthusiasm about that. I mean, honestly, I, I okay, I mean, we, we do have to have some. These are the about. Christmas songs as they were intended. As they were intended. It's not going to be um, <clears throat> the arrangements. I will rearrange for the situation, but I'm not going to arrange the mu I'm not going to rewrite the music. The music will be the original lyrics, not the lyrics that you hear today. Mm -hmm. So when you hear, um, you know, Jingle Bells, you're hearing the original. If you hear Old oh, Little Town of Bethlehem, you're going to be hearing the original. I mean, I've got, um, I, on, for instance, I have six sets of lyrics for um, Ave Maria. Six sets. Oh, really? Six sets, but I, I'm going to I go with the original, which is, um, you know, uh, Sir Walter Scott. And I'll go back to the original lyrics on everything, which, okay, what happens is the original lyrics may not match with the music that was written for them later on. Mm -hmm. That's when you have to screw with the arrangement a little bit. Because um, the Hail Mary and what follows does not work for Ave Maria, you know, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, the, the lyrics that come after it, the bar of music does not go with the music that the lyrics that was written by Sir Walter Scott. So basically, you have to do a little bit of nudging. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be seeing a, a lot of a cappella. Maybe uh, you know she's really mm -hmm. hating this because you know she's my she's I I don't play I do I don't play the piano, so I don't I have to hear the melody. And once I hear the melody, then I can play the piano, which is bad because she played she goes through it. As soon as I know which key to start off, then I can play the piano. But it's going to be a lot of one hand. She can't play one handed. And, I'm used to using. And keep her hand off the I'm used to keys. using two hands, and I'm used to reading the music. But a lot of what it's so going to be. So take away the music and take one hand away, and I'm totally. But if you could play chopsticks, ding 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 ding, or you know, but it's basically. I, you know, I can play, I, if I can stay away from the black keys, I'm really good. I, mean, I, can, I can sit there and play anything. What is it about the black keys? I don't like the like. black keys. don't like the black keys. If I can play the same thing, I know exactly where to hit the note that the black key was at. So I do it in my head. I calculate it instantly. Here is how you know how everything is written. You, you can have nothing that is further away from your index finger and your thumb. That is it. Because I have a, which is funny, I have small hands. But a very long, I can go you way across the keyboard, so that's why I can get away with playing. And she knows when I really get when I really get unhappy, I play Claire de Lune with both hands and the black keys. Oh, <laughs> is that when you really know it's Claire de Lune and the black keys? That's it's when I do the black keys. The only time I, it's okay. Claire de Lune. I tell people look, Claire de Lune was what I, my mother always wanted me to play the piano. I didn't really care about them because I just if I, I'd hear something and I could do it. My mother would bring in, bring piano teachers in because she brought Jose Turby in once to. I don't know. Who oh, that he is. was a great great pianist, orchestra conductor, arranger, musician. Oh, she got him probably from the music sets. She got him because my my grandmother was working on a movie with. Um, she was working on a movie with Catherine Grayson that he was in, and she said, "You know, my son is a half-ass, and he does he, he you know, he he." could play the piano, but he doesn't want to play the piano, he doesn't want to learn, so, oh, I understand, I work with kids like that all the time. So I'm over there, and as soon as my mother leaves the room, 
you know, I start. And he, I thought you told me he couldn't play. I said, I didn't say he couldn't play. I said he doesn't want to learn how to play. And he said, he just played Claire de Lune from beginning to end. You know, and his hands are flying. And he said, he can play. And he said, she said, Wilhelm, you know, I told you not, I mean, you can hear the yelling all the way out. I told you not to do that again. I do it to every piano teacher that ever came by. It's because you didn't want to take piano lessons. I didn't want to take piano lessons. I didn't, play, I didn't take drum lessons. I didn't take trumpet lessons. I just knew how to do it. But my and mother... And going like, what am I doing here? That's it. Like, you know, you know, you know, he said, uh, you know, he said, kid, you know, if you ever really want to take it seriously, you know, I might have a job for you. Uh -huh. And they said, I'm already working. I'm dancing in this movie. You're that way, you know. They said, yeah, I'm dancing over here. And he said, just who the hell are you? And they said, well, I said, my grandma is the script supervisor on the movie. Oh, you're Mary's kid. She's told me about you. Said, you're the one that comes in when nobody else knows what the hell they're supposed to do. And they have you do the part. <laughs> said, I know you, kid. So, I also heard about your reputation, kid. What was your reputation? You're a half-ass. You're, you, you're <laughs> smart.